channel. I'm really excited today because obviously this is not your everyday makeup. I was so excited and I'm so thankful for all the positive responses I got on my Halloween looks. So I've decided to make special effects makeup a permanent part of my channel, which I am so excited for. Special effects makeup is by far just one of my favorite things to do because you can be so creative with that. So without further ado, give this video a big thumbs up for me, subscribe to my channel, turn on those notification bells, and let's hop right into this tutorial. First thing I'm gonna be doing, guys, is grabbing some spirit gum and applying my prosthetics. They did not come this color, I just colored them and these definitely do not have to be perfect because we will have our braids and some face paint to be helping with that transition. From our ears, I do already have my braids done. This took me a long time. I'm obviously not the braid queen. Using my Professionals Primer, I've already prepped my face, guys, and now I'm just gonna be creating my base. I am using my Mayron face paints, and I'm using different sponges for each color and a different sponge to blend. You wanna take your time with this because this base is gonna be including your highlight contour, just everything, basically, that you're gonna be doing for the coloring of your face. I did use the same technique in my black and white Halloween video that I will link up above if you guys are interested in seeing that. Also, don't worry about the neck for now, guys. I am gonna be touching on that a little bit later. When you are satisfied, you can gently set your face. I'm using my Anastasia Translucent Powder. I'm going to be connecting my eyeshadow and my nose contour, guys. So Avatar does have a much wider, really straight, bulbous kind of nose. It is more flat. Luckily, the natural shape of my nose is quite wide as it is, so this didn't take me too much hard work. And for my eyeshadow, I'm keeping that kind of low and flared out. For the really cute pink part of my nose, guys, I did use a liquid lipstick, Bonnie by Huda Beauty, but it ended up being a little bit too red for me, so I decided to put an extremely light eyeshadow over it. I used the pink shade from my James Charles palette. Just going onto my lid with a light blue shadow from my Blue Bloods palette. Moving on to my line work now, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is probably like the only somewhat challenging part of this look. Other than that, it is super easy. Really anyone can create this, and the only reason that this is kind of difficult is symmetry issues. So what I recommend is going section by section. So you wanna do one thing to one side of your face and then try to recreate in the exact same spot, the exact same area, what you did on the previous side other than that like i said this look is super easy and i'm just using a combination of a extremely thin pencil brush and an extremely thin blending brush and my james charles palette Moving on to my white dots, guys, I am just using an eyeliner brush and my Suva Hydro Liner. Again, with symmetry, you just wanna try to recreate what you did on the other side. So if you do a line of three dots somewhere, you wanna try your best to keep it the same on the other side. This is not a difficult look to achieve. It's just very tedious and it takes a lot of patience. I kind of just whizzed through my neck, guys. You really don't have to do this if you don't want to. You can wear like a blue turtleneck or something, but just for the sake of the video, I added a little bit of line work and just some 
shading, not a whole lot, so don't worry about your neck too much. So this is it, this is the finished look. I threw some feathers in my hair. I threw some contacts, some lashes, mascara. I'm not gonna lie, the longest part of this look was definitely my hair. It took me like hours to do this. <laughs> so if you could buy a wig for this, that would be ideal. Yeah, like a braided wig. That, that would work great and look perfect on you, girlfriend. Um, I am so excited to be putting out more special effects stuff for you guys. Like I said in my intro, it really is one of my favorite styles of makeup. I'm really into like special effects and editorial and fashion makeup because you can just really let your creativity fly, you know, like there's so much you can do with it. So make sure you're not missing out on any of those videos. Give this video a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Turn on those notification bells and I cannot wait to hang out with you guys next time. Bye!